इतने कृष्णा मधुमल और दो तो मधुमल अभी तुम बताओ अभी इनको क्या दंड दिया जाएगा मधुमल का कहती है अभी क्या दंड दिया जाएगा ये हमको पेट भर के तो लड्डू दिला ये भी इनको दंड रहेगा लड्डू दिला हम तो के पेट भर के लड्डू दिलाए इतने में कितने सारे चोर और जो वहां पर बने हुए थे बोले आगे इसलिए ये मंत्री राजा बनेंगे तो वो लड्डू मिलने का चक्कर थे और इसके लिए बने थे इसमें खो हासिल कर लिए इसलिए ऐसे खेल रहे थे खेलते खेलते इतने में उमा सुनने आ करके एक एक संख्या को पकड़ पकड़ करके गुफा में बंद कर रहा था कृष्ण ने देखा कि ये क्या हो रहे थे एक एक संख्या कहां से अंदर जान होते जा रहे थे इधर से देखते देखते देखा एक राक्षस सखा को लेकर के एक गुफा में बंद करके बहुत बड़ा पत्थर का चट्टान उसमें लेकर बंद कर देता है अभी कृष्ण उसको देख रहे थे अब उसको उन्हें पीछा किया पीछा करके वो राक्षस को पकड़ लिया जिस समय उसको पकड़ करके कृष्ण उसको मारने गए उसी समय ये पृथ्वी थी उसी समय काम होती उसी समय बलदेव प्रभु अपना चरण द्वारा हुए पृथ्वी को तो उन्होंने धार नहीं किया अपना चरण को द्वारा क्योंकि वे संजीव शक्ति की मूल अधिक शक्ति देवता इसलिए वहां पर बलदेव प्रभु का चरण चिन्ह अभी भी वहां पर प्रभु का चरण चिन्ह है इसलिए भगवान वहां पर मिला दी जहाँ पर हम लोग भजन खरीदे गाँव में कुंड है वहां पर ऐसे बताते थे वही से ही कवि ब्रह्मा जी ने वो बात करो कि अभी वहां से हरने किया है इसलिए उन कुंड भी वहां पर कृष्ण कुंड भी वहां पर इसलिए कोई से ब्रह्मा जब देखा कृष्ण के चरण में हमारा अपराध हो गया हमने कृष्ण का भक्त और भक्त सत्ता को छोड़ दिया जब ब्रह्मा सर्वप्रथम वहीं से उन्होंने ये ब्रज मंडल की परिक्रमा उन्होंने छोड़ दिया था कहते क्यों कहिए कृष्ण का धाम ही है अगर ये धाम को परिक्रमा करेंगे तो मेरा जो अपराध ये अपराध से मैं मुक्त हो गया इसलिए सुना जाता है ब्रह्मा वहीं से परिक्रमा प्रारंभ किया था इसलिए वो स्थली अत्यंत अत्यंत पवित्र स्थली है वो कामयाबी वर्षा करो तो बस So there, Krishna is trying to blame, and they made some divisions. Then Krishna was made the king, Madhavan was made chief minister. Some boys they were made in charge of different garden areas. Some boys made themselves to pretend they were like sheep or goats, and some boys made themselves into a group of thieves. So as they were playing, the boys, the boys were trying to steal. Some other boys were disguised as sheep. Then the other boys were fighting, and they could not reconcile. They went to the king, and the king was Kanaya Sri Krishna. Then he said, "Say, present your case." The boy said, "We own this garden. This sheep came in our garden, and we caught them." The other boy said, "No, they are stealing our sheep." And Krishna said, "I cannot work this out. Madam Mangal, you give some decision." Then Madam Mangal said, "The decision is only boys should be in any garden. Not my son." Then there was so much laughing and joking. But as they were playing, and the, some sheep were really being stolen, there was one demon named Yomaso. So Yomaso was one Rakshas. Actually, I've heard he represents my life. Because my life, they never believe that God wants to have any associates. Therefore, he thinks only here is Hindu Brahma, there is no Rakshmi, there is no Nathi, there is no Gopi, there is no Ni, Brahma. Therefore, he was taking the boys one by one and stopping them in one cave. So that cave is a little bit off the hill there. So Krishna can understand where these boys have gone. My friends are disappearing one by one. This is all this drama show. Then when Krishna drama show began fighting. So as they were fighting, the whole earth was shaking. And Sri Balaji had been the Adisati Devata or Sambini Shakti for existence. By his foot, he placed his foot on pretty big earth, and the earth became steady by the footprint of Sri Balaji. Therefore, even today, the footprint of Sri Balaji is still there. Just like in the Mahabharata, when Sri Krishna went to kill Grandfather Krishna, 
That time he was very angry, he was running. And when, when he started running his hand, he went and finished his run. I was going to grab Krishna by the waist and Krishna dragged him 14 paces. That time Krishna's Pitamba flooded and fell on the ground, otherwise the earth would be destroyed. So he went to that place of Kamiyaman. When it says Kamiyaman means the place where everyone's desires are fulfilled. Even those persons who desire to serve Krishna in the mood of the Gopi. <laughs> there also is the Kriya Saga, that Kun is the July, also known as Krishna Kun. And also there's Pichli, Pichli Park, that slide where Krishna needs to enter to slide up and down. कृष्ण <laughs> वर्षों से वो इस प्रकार की है और यहाँ पर सभी समुदाय के लोग परिक्रमा में जाते हैं और संस्थान को जाते हैं और इसकी सबके भी है इस प्रकार से इसके बाद में वृंदा देवी में आप लोग गए वृंदावन जब मुगलों के अत्याचार से इंसान से राधा गोविंद जी को गोपीनाथ जी को भगत मोहन को राधा दामोदर जी को राधा माधव ये सब को लेकर के जबकि महाराज जयपुर के नरेश वे जब जा रहे थे तो उन्होंने रास्ते में राधा को जगह पहले पड़ा होता इस प्रकार में राधा जी गोविंद जी को रखा गया जिस स्थान पर गोपीनाथ जी को जहाँ पर उनकी मदन मन को वो स्थान अभी भी वहाँ पर है उसके पर से उसके प्रति दो फिक्र है और असम फिक्रों ऊपर चले गए लेकिन वहाँ से ये लोग यहाँ कामेवन में आए कामेवन में जहाँ पर भी गोविंद जी थे वही बिंदा जी का मंदिर है गोविंद जी के नाम से प्रसिद्ध नहीं है बिंदा जी के नाम से इसका कारण यह है कि वहाँ पर जब महाराज अपने विक्रमों को वहाँ पर पकड़ाया तो इस जगह पर अभी बिंदा जी का मंदिर है वहाँ पर राधा गोविंद जी को पकड़ा जहाँ पर आप गोपीनाथ जी के मंदिर में गए थे चरण पहाड़ी के पास में शायद तो वहाँ पर गोपीनाथ और मदन मोहन का भीतर में शायद आप लोग नहीं गए वो भीतर में है दूर है तो उस समय कुछ दिन रहे और इसके बाद में वहाँ से तीनों विक्रमों को लेकर के चले गए जयपुर में विक्रम तो चले गए किंतु बिंदा जी नहीं गई बिंदा देवी वही कामे बन में ही सीमा तक रह गई और जयपुर नहीं गई केवल कृष्ण के ही गए इसलिए बिंदा जी का वहां पर मंदिर है हम लोगों ने कामे बन से उस बिंदा जी को उनके बन में बिंदा बन में हम लोग ले आए और अपने मंदिर में हम लोगों ने उसको स्थापित कर दिया है फिर कामेश्वर महादेव ले गए वहां पर महाराज युधिष्ठिर और जक्ष का संवाद हुआ कौन बोलेगा बोलो तो डॉक्टर बोली थी बोलो After that, he went to Kisri Paha. There at the time of Krishna, 5,000 years ago, Krishna Sakas used to slide on a very shiny piece of stone. 
So even today, the indentation made by Krishna and his friends is still there. And all different political parties from all four samurais, even today, smile at that place in remembrance of that past time. We went through the temple of Vrindadev because of the disturbance by the Muslims, the main deities of Vrindavan, like Govinda, Shikopina, Shivana Namada, Ravi Yod, Shivana Mada, all the main deities of Vrindavan were moved by Maharaj Man Singh to Jaipur. So on the way, the three main deities of Radha Govinda, Radha Gopina, and Radha Madhu Mohan, on the way they stopped at Radha Kund. And on the way to Jaipur, they stopped in Kamiyaman. Devil Kamiyaman is not so much famous for the temple of Govinda as it is famous for the establishment of the Govinda Devi temple. At different places where Mahatma Singh Maharaj stopped, the Prophet Yuha, the representatives of those three deities, Govinda, Govinda, and Madhu Mahan, have been established. We did not go to the temple of Madhu Mahan because time was short. Therefore, Krishna left Vrindavan and went to Jaipur, but Vrinda Devi she did not leave as she appeared in the mind of Mando, she appeared in the mind of the devotees who were carrying her out of Vrindavan and said, do not take me outside of Vrindavan. Therefore, those three main deities, Shivara Govinda, Radha Govinda, and Radha Madhu Mohan went to Jaipur. And Guru Mahan said, Vrinda Devi was established there in Kamyaman. And Vrinda said by the expression of Vrinda Devi that he also established Vrinda Devi in Sivu's Nathan Goya Mahan instead of Vrinda. कि दुर्भाग्य नहीं 
इस संकट का अवतारी सका काल आ गया अभी हम क्या करेंगे इसलिए विष्णु महाराज बोले आप स्नान करके आइए हम सब व्यवस्था करते हैं जब दुर्गा जी स्नान करने के लिए गए इसलिए में द्रौपदी एक एकांत जगह में बैठ करके पंचवाटर में कहा द्रौपदी कृष्ण तुमको सखी बोल करके संबोधन करते हम से जल्दी से ज्यादा 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 तुम्हारी प्रार्थना को श्रवण करके द्रौपदी एकांत में बैठ करके फिर से कृष्ण को स्मरण की बोले हे श्याम सुंदर हे पति पावर हे दिनबंधु हे भक्तों पर काम करने वाले मैं अपना लिए तो कभी कोई चिंता करती नहीं मैं तो हर समय तुम्हारी भक्तों का मैं सेवा करती हूँ अभी तुम्हारे भक्तों के ऊपर में विपद आ पड़ी इसी समय आप भी रक्षा कर सकते हो इतने में कृष्ण उसी समय द्वारका में रुकमी अभी परसा हुआ थाला लेकर के कृष्ण को खाने के लिए वहाँ पर भी सामने रखिए इतने में द्रौपदी की आवाज कृष्ण को कान में फेंकर आया इतने में परसा हुआ थाला उन्होंने सरता दी रुकने बोले क्या कर रहे हो भजन करो कितने ही आज पर भक्तों को ऊपर में विपद पड़ी आज मैं अपना सखी को घर में भोजन करूंगी इतने में कृष्ण रथ में बैठ के पायु से भी तेजी गति से अभी कृष्ण आकर के कांगने वाले मन की गति कर रहा है कृष्ण साथ साथ वहाँ पर पहुंचे अब द्रौपदी वहाँ पर बैठ कर के कृष्ण को स्मरण कर रहे थे इतने में कृष्ण आकर के खंडित पाचाली द्रौपदी द्रौपदी कृष्ण कहाँ से आ गए अभी जिनको स्मरण कर रहे थे आज और के लिखा वही साक्षात रूप में खड़े उस आश्चर्य में पड़ गई कृष्ण ने कहा द्रौपदी मैं पैसा हुआ थाला को मैंने सरकार करके छोड़ करके आया हूँ मुझे बड़े भूख लग रहा है मैं कुछ बोल रहा हूँ बोल प्रभु इसलिए तो आपको हमने बुलाई दो बार का सात हजार शिष्यों को लेकर के अभी घर में आया है अभी मैं भजन करने के बाद उसको भजन नहीं करा सकती हूँ इसलिए मैंने आपको बुलाया था तुम्हें कुछ नहीं जानता हूँ पहले मेरे को पहले भजन कराओ उसको बाद में फिर तुम्हारा बात समझा कहते प्रभु कुछ नहीं कहते भजन नहीं लाओ तो सही भगवान चमन करता है पटोल लाए तो एक उसमें एक केवल चावल चावल की एक चिंता उसमें लगा हुआ फिर एक गिलास पानी ले आओ कृष्ण के बाद उसको ग्रहण करके बोले अगर मैं विश्व भर हूँ मैं तृप्त हो गया और एक गिलास पानी पी करके उन्होंने ठहार उठाया तो जितने सारे ऋषि सब स्नान कर रहे थे सबको देखा पेड़ इतने दिन बड़े खुल गया अपने आप लग रहा है दलाल तक भोजन किया हरिमला खाने का भी ताकत नहीं इतना यहाँ तक अभी एक दूसरे को देखने से क्या हो गया अपने अपने पेट खुल गया कैसे वहाँ पर चर्चो से दहशत नहीं हुआ चार तरह का प्रसाद हमने पाया है इतने में कृष्ण बोले फिर से जाओ ऋषियों को बुला कर ले आओ बोले प्रभु ये मृत्यु को क्यों बता दे रहे हो मृत्यु हो सकता है बोले जाओ गदा लेकर के जाओ इसलिए फिर से गदा लेकर के जब आए उनको बुला के लिए दूर से ऋषि लोगों ने देखा अरे भीम तो गदा लेकर के आ रहे हैं जरूर भजन के लिए प्रसिद्ध किए होंगे लेकिन गला तक यहाँ पर हरिमला करने का भी शक्ति में ताकत नहीं अभी क्या किया जाएगा अगर भजन नहीं कर पाएंगे इसका गदा एक नीचे नहीं गिरेगा सब पीठ दो पर भी गिरेगा वहाँ से भागो भीम जब वहाँ पर पहुँचे देखा कोई भूल लो कोई खुबल वही से भाग रहे थे और भाग नहीं पा रहे थे भीम वहाँ पहुँच करके देखा बैगा आदमी कोई भी कोई नहीं इसलिए ये घटना भी समझ गए नहीं कि कृष्ण का ही चमत्कार था क्योंकि ये घटना वहीं पर हुई थी और वहीं पर ही पंचवांडव जिस समय थे उसी समय बरवास में दुर्जाधर और कर्ण दुशास संगीत को लेकर के उनको खिली बनाने के लिए उनको उत्सव बनाने के लिए गए थे और उनको सामने उनको अपमान करने के लिए गए थे इतने में इंद्र ने देखा इंद्र का अंश से ये अर्जुन आया है उनको पुत्र लगता है इंद्र ने देखा एक मेरे बलवास में दे दिया कई कृष्ण के भक्त और इनको मैं तंग करने के लिए आए इतने उन्होंने चित्र उन्होंने चित्र संघ को उन्होंने भेज दिया गंधर्व को और गंधर्व ने आ करके दुर्जन को साथ में जूझ करते हुए दुर्जन को बंदी बना करके उसको ले जा रहे थे 
इतने में तो जो धन में बड़े जोर जोर से रोया बचाओ बचाओ हम तो बाढ़ लेकर के लिए जा रहे हैं जब जोर जोर से पुकारा वही बन जिसकी महाराज से बड़ी ही क्या हो रहा है किसको बाहर लेकर ले जा रहे हैं चलो तो जो उनको पकड़ कर ले जा रहे हैं तब तक तो जल्दी जल्दी जाओ तो जो उनको वहां से दिखाना मोटर के करके बोले भीम जाओ बोले क्या ये हम तो अपमान करने के लिए आए थे जंगल में हमको कपड़ जुआ मिल करके हमको भरा दिया घर से और ये हमारे शत्रु आप बोल रहे हो इसको बचाने के लिए आए जब उन्हें सुनने नहीं आए इसलिए कितने तरह से मारने के लिए प्रयास किया कहते तो नहीं जा सकता हूं इतने में उन्होंने बोले देखो भी अभी वो हमारे शत्रु है जब कोई जब हम घर का ये घर की बात करें जब कोई बाहर से भी हम लोगों का आक्रमण करेगा उसी समय हम पांच नहीं उसी समय हम एक सौ पांच उठाएंगे हम जब खरीदी घर की बात झगड़ा की बात घर की बात है अभी बाहर लोग तो आक्रमण कर रहे हैं इतने में बता जाओ जा तुम जा करके दूसरे सब लोग बचा करके लाओ इतने में अर्जुन आया और वहीं से ही बाढ़ मार करके सारे उस हार को परास्त कर दिया और मुक्का जब कर दिया वो ऊपर से गिर रहा था इतने में अर्जुन एक सौ उन्होंने बाहर मारा एकदम सुंदर उन्होंने सीढ़ी बना दिया और सीढ़ी बना करके ऊपर से लेकर के जुधिष्ठिर महाराज का चरण तक बना दिया और इतने में दुर्जोधन बैठे वहां से आप फिसलते फिसलते आ करके जुधिष्ठिर महाराज को चरण में गिरा मैं उनको मुक्त कर दिया उसी समय दुर्जोधन ने बोला था समय आने पर अगर मुझे कुछ बार मारोगे तो मैं आपको कुछ बार दे सकता हूँ तो ठीक है जब जरूरत होगा तब हम बार मांग लेंगे कैसे वहां पर ये इलाज भी वहां पर हुई थी तो जल्द बाद में किस समय वहां पर जब आया उसने कहा जैसे हम इसका पता ला लेंगे ये बड़े दुख भाग्य की बात है कि दृष्टिक को जिस हमने इतना सकता है और वही हमारी रक्षा करना है वो पूरा नहीं जानना तो बल्कि रक्षा कर इन पुस्तकों से बचना भी अच्छा है कहते वहां वो इलाज भी वहीं पर होती है और वहीं पर कच्चे बाग के समय कभी द्रौपदी को कभी प्यास न लगे तो उसी समय के साथ में महाराज कभी वहीं पर अभी को प्यार कर लगी इतने में जुधिष्ठिर महाराज नकुल को बड़े नकुल देखो तो आसपास में कहीं पानी होगा अभी जब उन्होंने आसपास में कहीं पानी दे करके जब पानी पीने के लिए गए इतने में देखा एक जक्ष बड़े साफ कहा पानी नहीं पी सकते हो इतने में देखा कि कौन बोल रहा है देखा है कि बगुला जी से तो बोलता है मेरा प्रश्न का उत्तर दे करके फिर तुम पानी पी सकते हो उन्होंने देखा कि बगुला और इसका प्रश्न का उत्तर दे करके फिर तुम पानी पीऊंगा जो जबरदस्ती पानी पीने के लिए गया तो वहीं पर वो बेहस हो गया जिसने श्री महाराज ने देखा कि आया नहीं फिर उन्होंने सहादेव को फिर अर्जुन फिर भीम को देखा ये लोग भी जब पानी पीने के लिए गए उस समय भी कोई बोले साहब था मेरा प्रश्न का उत्तर दे करके पानी पी सकते हो तो उन्होंने भी जोर जबरदस्ती पानी पीने के लिए गए तो वो वही तो वही सबके सब बेहस हो गए इतने में जुधिश्री महाराज के घर गए तो गए कोई आए नहीं अब जुधिश्री महाराज आए जब फिर वो पानी पीने के लिए जा रहे थे देखा फिर एक बगुला रूप धारण करके बोल रहे साहब था पहले मेरा प्रश्न का उत्तर दो मेरे पानी पीवा नहीं तो चार भाई का जो दशा उसी दशा आपको भोगना पड़ेगा वो तो युधिष्ठिर है युधिष्ठिर मतलब जो युद्ध में जो स्थिर है हर समय जिनका बुद्धि स्थिर बुद्धि है तो उन्होंने कहा कृपा करके आप पूछिए तो उन्होंने बहुत प्रश्न किया था फिर उन प्रश्नों में उसमें चार प्रश्न विशेष प्रश्न था उसमें उनका पहला प्रश्न था का बन था वास्तव मार्ग क्या है लोग इसी भक्ति मार्ग में लोग तरह तरह का मार्ग में चलते हैं इसलिए तो उन्होंने उत्तर दिया वेदा विभिन्ना स्मृत विभिन्ना नासो मुनिर्जस्त मतम न भिन्ना धर्म सतत्व निहत्व महाजन जेना 
इसलिए पर मजा नहीं है इसलिए वेद भी मिलता स्मृति भी मिलता ऐसे कोई मुनि नहीं जो अपना मनमा नहीं हुए हम मत बोलने में निकाल है लेकिन जो वास्तव जो धर्म की जो मार्ग हो वो अत्यंत अत्यंत गोपनीय है इसलिए वो क्या आगे कहते महाजन जी न इसलिए महाजन ने जिस मार्ग पर गए अभी प्रश्न है महाजन कौन कौन है तब ये चीज को धर्मराज स्वयं जब महाराज अपना दूतों को बोले वहाँ पर बोले महाजन बाहर है बोले स्वयं को नारा जो संभव हो कुमार कपिल मनु प्रहलाद जनक भीष्मा अर्ली बयास की बड़े कहते हम ये बार महाजन ये महाजनों ने जिस मार्ग पर गए इन लोगों का मार्ग भी सही मार्ग और बाद में जो उसी मार्ग पर आ, उसी मार्ग पर जो अनुसरण किए जैसे हमारे सड़क स्वामी हमारे गुरु परंपरा के जो गुरु वर्ग लोग आए तीन लोग से महाजन है तीन लोग की आस्था पर अगर कोई चलेगा तो उनका मार्ग सही मार्ग है और उनका दूसरा प्रश्न था जगत में कौन सुखी है तो उनको उत्तर था और ही अप्रवास इसलिए कहते जो और ऋणी जिसका कोई ऋणी नहीं इसलिए ऋणी का अर्थ पर क्या होगा चिंता करेगा आप ऋणी कैसे छुटाएंगे इसलिए और एकाधन स्थान में बताया वास्तव रूप में ये सारे ऋणी से कौन मुक्त तो हो सकते हैं तो वहां पर बताया देवर से भूता तजुबे नाम पितृ नाम नारायण चराजन सर्वात्मा जो शरणम शरणम दत्तम मुकुंदम परिहत कर देता हूँ इसलिए कि जगत में आने पर जीव को पांच प्रकार का ऋण में ऋण बनना पड़ता है देव देवर्षि देव देव ऋणी ऋषि ऋणी जीवन का ऋणी राजा ऋणी और कैसे करके पिता माता का ऋण कैसे करके उनको पांच छह तरह का ऋणी जीव को चुकाना पड़ता है लेकिन कभी समस्त ऋणी से कौन मुक्त हो सकता है कहते जो संपूर्ण रूप में कृष्ण जिसको बोलते सर्वधर्मान परित्यजमान एकम सर्व ब्रज अहंकार सर्व पात से सर्वान इसलिए जो सारे धर्मों को छोड़ करके केवल भगवान का चरण में जो शरणागत तो हो जाता है कहते वास्तव रूप में कोई व्यक्ति भी सारे ऋण से ही मुक्त हो सकता है नहीं तो जगत का पिता माता का ऋण करके लोग सुखा नहीं सकते एक एक ऋण सुखाने के लिए जाते तो कितने जीवन लग जाएगा केवल एक ऋण सुखानी चाहिए भगवान का ऋण और गुरु का ऋण उसी ऋण सब ऋण से मुक्त हो जाएंगे तब उन्हें तीसरा प्रश्न था क्या उसका कार्य वार्ता क्या पार्श्व क्या है संवाद क्या है तो उन्होंने बोले ये संसार रूपी ये एक कढ़ाई है कहते कढ़ाई में जीव कैसे वहाँ पर कैसे खोल रहे हैं और दिन रात रूपी सूर्य का किरण से कैसे खोल रहे हैं और ऋतु रूपी जो कलसी को द्वारा उसको तरह तरह का दुख कर दिया जा रहा है इसलिए वार्ता है जीव तत्व तो हो गई भगवान को धोल करके ये संसार में आ गए और संसार में कैसे जीव के दुख पर सुख हो कर रहे हैं इसलिए कहते हैं यही वार्ता है और और उनका जो चौथा प्रश्न था किन आश्चर्य जगत में सबसे बड़ा आश्चर्य क्या है बल अहनी अहनी भूतानी दर्शन की जब मंदिर कहते सबसे आश्चर्य बात यही है हम देख रहे हैं हमसे जो छोटे थे वो हमसे पहले चल गए लेकिन हमारा सामने हमने देखा उनके छोटे जो थे वो सबके सब चले गए उनको सब जला गया स्वयं जा के जला करके आए लेकिन हम स्वयं सोचते हैं हम तब भी नहीं मरेंगे हम तो चिरकार के लिए हम जिंदा रहेंगे इसे हम तब नहीं मरेंगे कहते जगत में ये सबसे बड़ा आश्चर्य बात है इसलिए और जब हम जानते हैं हम मरेंगे तब हम भगवान का भजन भी करते हैं इसलिए जगत में यही आश्चर्य जी अपना को चिरकाल हम रहेंगे और चिरकाल संसार का विषय भोग करेंगे यही करके जगत में सबसे बड़ा आश्चर्य है और जी जो भगवान का भजन नहीं करते तब उन्होंने जब उन्होंने जथा जो को उत्तर दिया वो प्रसन्न हो गए बोले आप एक काम कर सकते हो यदि जो चार जो मरे हुए आप इनसे आप एक व्यक्ति को आप जीता प्राप्त कर सकते हो बताओ इन चारों में आप किसको चाहते हो 
और इन चारों में ये नौकरु को हमें दे दो क्यों ये तो भीम सर्वश्रेष्ठ गदाधारी अर्जुन सर्वश्रेष्ठ गांधीधारी वो तुम्हारा भैया है वो तो माधुरी का संता तुम उसको क्यों चाह रहे हो कहते मैं युधिष्ठिर हूँ मैं अपना भैया का एक संतान में जिंदा हूँ अभी माधुरी के लिए दो संतान है इसलिए चाहता हूँ इनका भी एक संतान जिंदा रहे इसलिए इसलिए आप उनको जिंदा कर दो इतने इनका विचार देख करके वे आश्चर्य हो गए आश्चर्य हो गए कि वे ठीक है मैं आपका विचार से संतुष्ट हूँ कि सबका सभी को प्राण प्राप्त हो जाए सबके सब चिंता हो जाए फिर प्रसन्न को सब चिंता लेकर के फिर उन्हें वापस आए कि तो वहाँ पर ये लीला भी उपलब्ध हुई थी वहाँ पर कौन कौन सा लीला
when so they requested that uh, Dravasa Nishi should go and he should take his bath in Bhimala Kuna. So he went there with all of his disciples. And in the meantime, Draupadi was thinking, oh, what to do, what to do. And in this countless condition, she knew that she had no other choice, no other alternative. She began calling out, hey Krishna, hey Krishna. Because Draupadi has a very intimate, friendly relationship as Saki with Krishna. So she called out to Krishna. And actually, when Krishna hears the calls of his beloved devotees, well, very quickly, immediately, Krishna will come to rescue them. So suddenly, Krishna came there, and he appeared in front of Draupadi. And he said, oh, oh, my dear Saki, I am very, very hungry. Please feed me. And she explained to Krishna uh, the problem that Dharvasarishi was waiting nearby. She had nothing to feed him. And also, practically, she had nothing even to feed to Krishna. But Krishna said, no, no, uh, you should bring me that pot of yours. Just bring it here. Because she told him that it's already been washed and there's nothing left. So he said, no, no, bring me the pot. So when she brought the pot to Sri Krishna, then Krishna examined the pot, and on the very outside of the pot, he found one tiny little piece of spinach, green leafy vegetable, which was still sticking to the pot. So with his fingernail, he scraped off this little piece of spinach, and he put it into his mouth, and then he requested from nobody some water to drink, then he drank the water, and suddenly he felt completely satisfied and full. He said, Trip goes me, trip goes me. I'm completely satisfied. And even Sri Krishna, he belched out of satisfaction. So, now as Durga Sarishi was nearby, when Sri Krishna felt this full sensation in his stomach, suddenly Durvasa and all of the 60,000 disciples, they also felt completely filled as if they'd eaten up to their necks a whole feast. They couldn't eat one tiny little morsel more. So now Sri Krishna instructed that Bhim Sain should go there, or Yudhishthira instructed that Bhim Sain should go, and he should bring Durvasa Rishi. So Bhim Sain began to go there with his club on his shoulder, with his with his uh, mustache curled <laughs> and, and yelling out, Oh, Durvasa, Durvasa, come now, come now. <laughs> like Sri Sh Patirtha Maharaj is always telling us, Come, come to the buses, come to the buses. <laughs> don't delay, don't delay. <laughs> so he was calling out like this, Durvasa Rishi. And now Durvasa Rishi, he became very frightened because he remembered, Oh, I made a big mistake before with Amrish Maharaj. I don't want to make the same mistake again. And suddenly he took off into the airways, flying into the airways with his 60,000 disciples. So in this way, when Deep Singh came there, nor Dabasa. So how Sri Krishna always answered the prayers of his beloved devotees. Uh, another incident which took place was when. Uh, Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, Duryodhana was camped nearby to the Pandavas. And when he was camping nearby to them, he was having a big party. And he was trying to embarrass all the Pandavas for a number of days. He was having feasting and celebration, and he was trying to embarrass all the Pandavas. So, in, uh, Intradev, who is the father of Arjuna, he didn't like this. So he didn't like that they were trying to do such a dastardly deed against the Pandavas. So, therefore, he sent his general of his army in the heavenly planets, Chitrasen. So Chitrasen came there with so many a Gandharva army. Uh, and he came down and attacked the camp of Duryodhana. He defeated Duryodhana's entire army, and he defeated Duryodhana and captured him. And now, he was taking Duryodhana up into the airways. And Duryodhana was screaming and calling out, and he was very frightened. Save me, save me, save me! So then, uh, Yudhishthira, seeing the predicament that Duryodhana was in, uh, now he told that Bhim, oh Bhim, you should go, and you should help him. He is our, he is our brother. And Bhim said, what are you, 
What are you talking about? He's our enemy. He's trying to embarrass us. He's always getting us into difficult situations. I don't want to help him. And then you just said, no, no. You have to understand that when we are uh, sometimes amongst ourselves as brothers, well, we can quarrel amongst ourselves. But when there is any outside attacking party, then we are a hundred and five. All of us are all together as one. We must go and save our brother. So then he instructed them to go. And Arjuna, he instructed Arjuna. And now Arjuna, he, yeah, being still wouldn't do. So he instructed Arjuna. And Arjuna now began to fire arrows into the sky. And uh, he also, he, yeah, he built a stairway. And then he went up on the stairway. Oh, you're gonna, oh, he, he raised in a very amazing mystical way with his arrows. He built the stairway, and at the top of the stairway, it was so, so exactly calculated that Duryodhana would be able to suddenly roll down the stairway and come down to the ground. So, and when he fell down to the ground, he fell right at the feet of Maharaj Yudhisthira. And Maharaj Yudhisthira embraced him affectionately, received him very respectfully. And this was a very, very great embarrassment to Duryodhana. Even though he was being dealt with in such a, a, a heartful way. But Duryodhana, what is the nature of Duryodhana? His heart is like a piece of coal. If you try to wash a piece of coal, it will remain black. You continue to wash it for days on end, still it's black. So in this way, Duryodhana, he went back to his kingdom and now he became even more and more envious against them. What's the next one? Oh, Dharma Kunda, yes. <clears throat> One day, uh, the Pandavas were in that area, and they were wandering in the forest, and they became very, very thirsty. So they wanted to find water. So Maharaj Yudhisthira noticed that off in the distance, some birds were coming down from the sky and landing on the land. So he understood that there must be water there. So he decided that he should send First of all, being saying, no? Being, yes, he said being, yes. He said being there, and uh, so when being saying came there and he saw uh, this pond of water, this kunda, well, immediately he wanted to go and drink it. But there was a yaksha standing on the side of this pond, and the yaksha was in the form of a stork, of a hero, uh, with the long legs. Long and, the, and, the, and this Yaksha spoke to him and, and said, you should be very, very careful. Don't drink this water. And he said, what, what are you, who are you? Why are you telling me this? Yes, he said, first of all, before you drink, you have to reply to my questions. You have to answer my questions. And being saying completely ignored this bird, he went and he drank some water from the Kunda, uh, then he suddenly fell unconscious. So Yushu was waiting for uh, Bean to come back and give them news where they could come and get water. So when Bean didn't return, uh, then he sent Arjuna. So now Arjuna went there and the same thing happened again. Arjuna saw the hero, the hero of uh, the sword asked Arjuna. Uh, yes, he must reply to my questions first, don't drink, and Arjuna again ignored him, and again he drank the water and he fell unconscious. And again, he was still around his way, so then he said, one by one, Nakul, then Sahadev, and each brother, they did the same thing. They didn't listen to this bird on the side, this yaksha, they drank the water and fell unconscious. So now he was here, was wondering what to do. All four brothers gone, so now he himself went there. When he arrived, he saw his brothers unconscious on the ground next to the lake. And then he saw this bird, and the bird also spoke to him. He said, I have questions you have to answer first. And if you answer these questions, then I will give you uh, any uh, benediction, I will give you a benediction. So Yudhishthir Maharaj is very, very intelligent. He is Dhar Dharma Raj, actually. He is the son of Dharma. And actually, this stork, who was this bird in the form of a yaksha, was actually his father Yamaraj, who was coming to test him. But he didn't know it at that time. 
So, but because he's so intelligent, now his riddles, like riddles and questions were put to him. And uh, so, the first question that he asked him was, who is happy? But actually, he asked him a group of four questions. There are a number of questions in Mahabharata, different groups, but usually we discuss these four main questions. Who is happy? What is the greatest wonder? What is life's real path? And what is truth's worthy? So, when he asked him, who is happy? Who is the person that is actually happy? Then, Yudhishthira uh, Maharaj thought very carefully. And he says, ah, that person who is never in any debt to anyone. He is not a debtor to anyone in this world. He also does not have to be in any foreign land. And also, very easily he can obtain his meals and very nice uh, leafy vegetables and herbs and such. So that person, he is very happy. The meaning behind this is that so the person, the person who has no debts in this world, well, who is that person? It can only be a Krishna Bhakta, a person who has completely surrendered his life and soul at the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. Because why? As soon as anyone takes birth in this world, immediately they have to have so many debts. They have debts to their parents for giving them this physical body. They have debts to their relatives for helping to maintain them. They have debts to their forefathers also, who, who enabled them to come into this world. They have debts to the demigods who are supplying us all the different facilities of the material nature. And in this way, so many different debts are accrued simply by taking birth in this world. And everyone has to try to pay those debts, otherwise they incur sinful reaction and bad karma, and again they have to take birth in this world. But actually it is stated in Shiva Bhagavatam. Huh? What is that? Devarsi Bhutavana That anyone who has taken full shelter of the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of God and Sri Krishna, then that person is no longer a debtor to anyone. Not forefathers, not, not his parents, not the demigods, not the rishis, no one he's in debt to. He is completely free from all debts. And this is also stated by Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, where he says, Sarvadharma prityajya maha pekam sharanam graja aham kram sarvapa pekam moksha ishyami maha he promises there to Arjuna at the very end of Gita. He says, give up all of the dharmas. Don't worry. Don't worry or don't fear about any of your responsibilities to the, the mundane dharmas of this world. And Mount Ekam Shalom Gaja. Simply surrender to me alone. Aham Tom Sarva Moksha If you do this, I will automatically I will free you from any kinds of reactions, sinful or pious reactions in this world. So do not fear. So in this way, Maharaj Yudhisthira, he correctly answered the question, who is happy in this world? And when, he's, when he asked the question, what is life's real path? Then he thought very deeply. And he said, Kargo Pratishtash Shutayo Padinam Harish so he said there, in this material world, there are so many opinions. What is the path? What is the process by which we can attain our real benefit in life? There are so many different rishis and moonies. There are great thinkers, big philosophers. They're trying to give so many different opinions like this. But actually none of them can give you the right course of action to take in this world. Therefore he said, Dharma Sitatvam, Nihitam Buhayam. It is a very subtle thing. It is hidden within the deep core of the heart of the Mahajans, the great personalities of this universe, of which there are twelve Mahajans in this universe, mentioned by Yamaraj in the sixth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So those great Mahajan personalities, only they know 
what is the actual path that everyone should follow in this world, and that is Bhagavad Dharma, the path of serving the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then, when he asked the question of what is the what is the greatest wonder, Kimasacharya? So, if we were to be asked, what is the most wonderful thing in this world, the most amazing, wonderful thing, Ascharya in this world, it would be very difficult for us to give this. But Maharaj Yudhishthira is so intelligent. So he said, Ahani, Ahani, Bhutani, Kyotashtiha, Yamalayam, Shesha, Stavra, Gitchati, Kimasacharya Matakara. He says, day after day, everyone in this world is going toward the same destination. We see people are dying all around us. <clears throat> Our relatives are dying. They've already died. Our friends are dying. And this material world is hard to look. It's a place of death. But yet, Shesha Stavra Vichakti, those who are still here, remaining here, left behind in this world, like all of us, we're all thinking that we're going to make a permanent situation, that we are not going to go there. So he said, what could be more incredibly wonderful than this? That the conditioned soul is so much an illusion that he sees all around him, death is inevitable, he doesn't even know at which moment he's going to die, but yet he lives his life, makes his plans, and he thinks that he's going to live for a hundred years, a thousand years, and he'll never die. Everyone is thinking like this. So Maharaj Yudhisthira said, yes. Him Ashtarya Matakpara, what could be a more wonderful, amazing thing than this? So that was the correct answer. And finally, what is newsworthy? Or in other words, what's the news? So every day we see so many newspapers. We see so many news programs, CNN news, internet news, and everybody's trying to find out what is the news. But they're telling you all the little details that are happening in the material world, all the different news, mostly bad, just a little bit of so-called good news. But when Maharaj Shri was asked what is the news, he gave the absolute truth. He gave the absolute answer. And he said, the news is this. We are all, all jivas, all living entities in this material world, they're all inside of a very big fried pan. And they're all being fried. Yes, like being in a big walk with a burning fire underneath it and being ladled around on a stir fried <laughs> in the pot of this material world. So he said that this material world is like a big frying pan and all the jivas are, are being fried in the, in the material nature and the stirring pot is the changing seasons and the fire that's underneath them is their karmic activities, burning them, even pious or impious activities. So this is the predicament of every single Jiva soul in the material universe. So if someone asks you, what's the news? Just tell them, we're all being fried. So that was Yudhisthira Maharaja's answer. And time is the cook <laughs> who's serving the pot. So in this way, he answered all of our questions and other questions as well. And now the, the Yaksha became very satisfied. He said, oh, now you should ask me. You can ask me for any one of your brothers to again be brought back to life, and I will immediately do that. So then you just thought very carefully, and he said, I want Nakul. Nakul was the son of huh? the oldest son of Madri, who was the co-wife of Pandu, Pandu, yes. So, then, you know, then when he said that he wants Nakul to be brought back to life, then the Yaksha asked him, why do you want Nakul? He's not your direct, full brother, he's your half-brother. Huh? So, why don't you want Beemse? Huh? Because he's your own brother and he's the strongest. Then Maharaj Yudhisthira said, I believe that the greatest dharma is to see all living beings equally and to deal with all living beings with equality. Samoham. Just like Krishna, he sees all living beings equally. Samoham, Sarvabhutation, Namad, Namad, Vaishya, Sina, Priya. 
I don't see that any difference between any living being and all my eternal parts and parcels. So someone who's on the path of pure Sanatana Dharma, they must also see all living beings as parts and parcels of Krishna and deal equally with all living beings mercifully. So therefore he said, I want that the cool, he will be brought back to life because he is the son, the eldest son of Madri. And I want that because I'm living, so Kunti, she already has one son living, so if Madri also has her son, then this will be fair for her, this will be justice for her, and she will not have to weep that she has no sons. So when the Yaksha heard this, well, he became very satisfied, and he also revealed to Maharaj Yudhisthira, I am Yamaraj, I have come to test you. So in this way, Maharaj Yudhisthira passed the test, and, uh, and then he also brought all the other brothers back to life because he was so satisfied. So all these pastimes occurred at Vimukun and Dharmakun, where we went today by the mercy of Shiva Guruji. <laughs> He came and saw nobody here, only nobody. 
Lokas ke sinhi beauty ho, sinhi beauty. Jada kuchh achhe kar gaya. So how? Why? And this one that India is the better, better it can come with me. I mean my my queen. Lokas ko aaj yada. Don't they like this? Then Jada by force kidnapped. And she was cried out, Oh, baby, Mama Jun, please help me, please help me. And he met Dojana, sorry, he met Arjun, chased Jadra. All the Jadra was in Jadra. But he met Arjun, they are so strong. He is the environment of air. How can go faster than he? And Arjun was the biggest archer of the world. He did some mystic, that means he knows so many trees. By Yadav he made fire, then Chayat took and moved. And Bhim and Arjun came very close to Yadav. See this Yadav, drop down by the air and run away from there. But how he had run more faster than Bhim and Arjun? They grabbed him and lived to Zohari. Oh, but then he kissed him, what shall he do with him? Shall he kill him? No, 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 don't kill him. He should kill him, because he was five brothers and two children and hundreds. And one hundred and five of only one sister. If you kill him, then your sister will do so. Don't do so. What to do now? Then it mentions sister, child, Mani Kaktina Okamana Vritudulla. If anyone is very honorable person, if you insult him, 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 Let him go. Then he is very furious. So, the woman stole and she is a darling. What you want is the revenge. From there, you know, when there is country, he went to the side of Lord Shiva and wanted to kill five Pandavas, but Lord Shiva did not give his permission. After that, we have told us so many places. So, you will have to know that so many Darshaniya Stan is there. And other places, especially to the tour. Near Chalampan there is one deep kunda, named Lukundi kunda. So Prabhupada Kunda Sasa is to bhajan there. And Krishna played on fruit and mountain mail. And Krishna's fruit print came there, like he is standing in the front of the misty board. Oh yeah. The left church in the foot marks of left is completely vivid there. And for right coming the front part of there. And through that door, when he is to tell me that he is going to be some problem, he is there. He is going to be very wonderful for him now. At that time, he was seeing small small pieces of stone, so many marks of deer, star, house and circus. Now it is not more available. Because the small stone not big rock. So, the devotee is taken away from there and keep that house. So, through that door, he is very very lonely, all the way very tired. Better after that you can take the rest. This is the best for you. So now we will order some subscription, and tomorrow will be our thousand will be announced to our board. Especially go to our board, Santa Maria, Ravana Kunda, Ravana Bedi, and Nara Kunda. Hare Krishna.